This is the Lock Picking Lawyer, and what I have for you today is a Master Lock Model 8118. This is a small U lock that's generally speaking thought to be relatively secure, and that's not without some foundation. This does have a very thick 12 millimeter shackle that would be relatively difficult to cut with bolt cutters, and more likely, if you want to go through that shackle, you're going to have to use some angle grinders. For the lock body, we have a hardened steel pipe, and then the core is a disc detainer core, which tend to be a little bit harder to pick than most other cores. However, there is one significant flaw with this lock that does allow us to get into it very quickly, and this flaw is not uncommon among locks like this. Generally speaking, there are two kinds of construction when it comes to these U-locks. The first is like this master lock, where the core is inserted from the bottom and then pinned from the side to make sure it won't come out. The other kind of construction is what we see in this lock right here. If you look at the bottom, you can just see a small hole through which you can insert the key. This indicates that the core was slid in from the side and then pinned in place so it couldn't move. Generally speaking, this construction is much more secure because it is not susceptible to pulling attacks. And that's what we're going to demonstrate today on this Master Lock 8118. To do that, we are going to use a really useful tool known as a slide hammer. This has three parts. We have the hammer itself. This one's about four pounds. We have the shaft on which it slides. And then there is a threaded end that accepts attachments. And there's all kinds of attachments that you can get for these, everything from pulling gears to fixing dents on cars. But probably the most useful is this right here. It just is a threaded nut with a hole in the end that allows you to put a screw through it and then thread it onto the slide hammer rod. After that, you can apply a pulling impact force to whatever you have screwed this piece to. So that's what we're gonna do right now. We are going to screw this right into the keyway of this master lock using a number 10 sheet metal screw. Let me get this set up. Okay, I think we've got that in pretty good. Now I'm going to take my slide hammer rod, thread it on, Okay, that should be more than enough. And then we are going to use this hammer and pull that core right out. Okay, let's look at the end of this. You can see we have the core stuck to the end of our rod and an empty bottom to this master lock. Then the only thing we need to do to open this up is reach in with something like this screwdriver and pull the locking lugs aside. It is a huge security flaw, and if you follow my fitter Twitter feed, you've seen a few other locks that are susceptible to this. It's a big problem. Master Lock and the other lock companies do need to fix it because it is really, really easy to get into these locks. So that's all I have for you today. If you do have any questions or comments, please put them below. If you like this video and would like to see more like it, please subscribe, and as always, have a nice day. Thank you.